Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Deep Fear Blind on the Sega Saturn. This is part 10. Let's press start and load where we last left off. It's New Year's Day today. It's uh, This is going to be my last session, well, last, uh, like, kind of part tonight. Uh, like, last session, I'm going to then go to bed. Um, but uh, I just want to play a little one more because this game is so good, I can't stop playing. So we're going to load the file and continue on. And then uh, tomorrow I will hopefully finish the game. I'm excited for that. But uh, but now, but so this part, what we're doing, we're going to the Navy area, we're getting a gun gun, and we're sealing up the the hull, and then going to be riding a big, big jing. Sounds a bit dirty, but that's what we're doing. So, we want to go down here, don't we? Yeah, this game is very good. It's been a good evening. Like most, most of my friends and everyone I know have gone out and done something and gone out and get got drunk and gonna have gonna have a monster hangover tomorrow. And here's me playing Deep Fear, and I'm like, well, I know what I'd rather do because I'm doing it right now. I'm playing Deep Fear. Yeah. Um, and had hot chocolate. It's just a pretty nice evening. You know, it's my cup of tea. This. Right, so we're that's what we're doing. I am getting quite tired. So if I yawn through this playthrough, I do apologise, but uh, slightly tired now. Yeah, so we want to go through here. It's a lot of backtracking in this game. And then we want to go through two really dull-looking passageways. One here. Ah! Hey! Okay, hello. Get up. I love it how you, they fly backwards. That's really nice. I think the only thing I don't like about the graphics of this game is the shadows and blood look really, really bad. They're not, they're not that great, to be honest. But, uh, there's nothing, like, terrible. The one on the the Resident Evil Saturn has pretty bad shadows too, because um, obviously the Saturn can't really do transparency very well, so it can do it, just not very well. Are we gonna have another enemy dropped out of the ceiling for me to fight? I can see the ceiling. Okay, we're good. Okay, this is where we're supposed to go. Area junction room. So Danny should be here. If he's not, he might be in the control room. Hmm, it's not here, is he? Mm, it's a bit worrying. I will check the control room. Oh. Sorry to make you wait. Get on the lift when I give the signal from the control room. Here, I'll give you this. It's the Navy Area ID card key. You'll need this for the Navy Area. I owe you one. Okay, anytime. Okay, we're back here, aren't we? I remember where we were at. Level 2 Navy Key. Oh, yeah, and that door was locked where we first at were first out, wasn't it? No, I don't want to go to the docking area. Okay. I know where we're at, I think. Uh, I don't know what door to go through, though. Okay, that's the air unit. We don't need to use that just yet. We go through here to passageway. Mm. Oh! Don't you just love fighting creatures that you can't see? Don't you just re love reloading when you're fighting a creature? Is he dead? He's deflating. That means he's dead. 
Yeah, we're here. We're supposed to, we need to go in that elevator. That's what we need to do. Let's just check the storage room real quick. There might be some goodies in here. Like, you know, maybe like a shell box or something nice, you know. Uh, that is no. Sometimes they put that in, don't they, though? But they didn't. Just might as well recharge the bullets while we're here. Let's just double check. There's nothing left now. Okay, there's nothing here. Um, what I'm not sure. I know where the level two card is. I know where the door is because I I remember it's in the it was in the first part of this uh, playthrough. I think it was in the first or second part. Uh, it's up the li up. This is where we this is where we fought the first guy. It was here. That pool of blood is. Um, what I'm gonna do is just go to check the other door. I want to check the other door. Uh, make sure I'm not missing anything that way. And then go back. Oh! I have no idea what that was. What? Why? Oh, those are the things I've seen before. That just turns into a pool of blood when you kill them. Weird. I have no idea what that is. Okay, this is the door. Uh, junction room to the Sea Fox. Hmm. Oh. What is that? Yeah. Like little, little, like kind of beetles or something. Patches the sea fox is locked. The door is, the door is locked. Okay. Not going that way then. This way? Control room. I remember this is where Muki asked for his one week vacation or something. Poor Muki. May he rest in peace. It's nice revisiting these areas. It's a big air duct. Cold air is flowing inside. Mmm, you might be back here because he said about air duct. Okay, there's nothing in here. Absolutely nothing in here. Okay, it was a waste of time even doing this, but... You know. I just wanted to make sure. Hey, these things are back. I love how they kind of just deflate like that. When you, get, when you shoot them. I thought they'd be more dangerous, but they're not really, are they? They're the, they're the easiest enemies we've had so far. Right. Uh, which way was it? Oh, I forgot now. Well, while I'm here, I'm just going to pump air back into the system. There we go. This way. Should be into passage white, yeah. I'm really enjoying this game. This has got some really nice setting. I can't say enough that this is actually... It's a shame that the this was, like, not very popular and no one really bought it. And now it's a really expensive game. Because I would recommend this for a few people. You know, like, hey, if you like cheesy horror games like this, just play this game. But obviously it's difficult because you can either get the cheap Japanese version and then have to figure a way to get your, you know, either have a, Sega, a Japanese Sega Saturn or have like a, an action cart or something. But, um, shoot the thing on the floor. There we go. No, I think there's another one. Don't put the gun away. But, you know, or figure a way or, or, or spend crazy amount of money on the PAL version. It's a shame that this is an expensive game. The refrigerator is still locked. I mean, like, you'd think the, like, pe people will figure a way to, like, emulate um, Saturn games. It would be nice, you know, to have, like, like, port it to newer consoles so people can, like, experience these games especially like games like Panzer Dragoon Saga, Burning Rangers um they did it they did uh, they did 
report a uh, guardian heroes treasure did that so that's that's these people and and um and radiant silver gun so they oh hello um so at least they got that so at least you've got that choice two good games there both deflating there brilliant this is where mookie died poor mookie no it wasn't Right, that's, yeah, this is the door to, we needed the thing. So, yeah, I mean, I think it'd be a good market, a huge market if they could port. I know it's difficult to port Saturn games because of the architecture of the, the console, but you'd think by now people would have figured it out. There's, there's emulators that are getting better for the Sega Saturn, so. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's, a, it's an underrated console. It's a really, really underrated console. So this is a new area. We haven't been in here yet. We get to see a lovely close-up model of a monster there. Take care of him before he gets back up. <sighs> well done, John. Well done, John. Loading at the, the worst time yet again. Okay, what's down here? There's a ladder there. And door here. Let's go for the door first. It leads to a passageway. I was just going to say, I bet it leads to a passageway. I thought, better not say that, just in case it sounds comes off cocky and it leads into someone's room, but... Oh, he's there, okay. Come on, mate. Don't get stuck on the corners, that's my job. Oh, John, reloading at the worst time yet again. So we can go this way or that way. Loads of doors in this section. Let's go to this door. Let's not do this door. It's the laboratory. The airlock is damaged and you can't go in. We're not going that way then. Let's go this way. Oh, another ladder. Okay, let's go for the door then. To a passageway? No, data library. Hmm. I wonder what this store is in this library. Data or data, depending on how you want to pronounce that word. Pronounce it any way you love. Right, what's this here? You've obtained VTR1. Okay, so we're going to go back and watch that at one point. Anything else? A9. I love this, the diehard font they're using here. Like that font, you know. Ah, this is where the, is an air duct. I smell sort some sort of chemicals. Okay. So you've got something to do with... You've obtained the Mercury Project Brief. Brilliant. More, more reading. Mercury Project Brief. Let me just have some water before I start this. Okay, I'm good. On October 14th, 1957, the Soviet Union succeeded in launching the first man-made satellite Sputnik 1. Americans were astounded by this event that later became known as the Sputnik Shock. In August of 1958, the Eisenhower administration established a new space investigation organization and named it NASA, National Aeronautics and Space Admi Administration. The Mercury Project. The Mercury Project had three main purposes. One, to have a manned space pod in Earth's orbit. Two, to bring the pod and its crew safely back to Earth. Three, to investigate what sort of effects this new flight environment has on humans. However, in order to successfully carry out this plan, researchers had to study the natures of extreme acceleration and deceleration, space radiation, extreme temperatures and sound, weightlessness, claustrophobia and much more. Before actually launching humans into space, NASA used hamsters, pigs, chimpanzees, dogs, and other animals as tests. These tests are thought to have been continued until Mercury Project ended. <gasps> that monkey! The monkey came from space! Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But could be. That could be. Oh. I was never a fan of that part of history in space. I love space travel and the idea of space. I, I really love what, like, reading about astronomy as, and, and, and space exploration. I love that kind of thing. But I was never keen on sending animals up there to die. I was never keen. I understand why, but I was just never keen on that. 
you know. But uh, we won't go into that. That's depressing. Let's let's kill zombies instead. Yay. Okay. How long have we been recording for? For 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, right. What I'm going to do is do go up the ladder now. Can I go down this way? No, that's just... That looks a bit weird, doesn't it, there, game? Up the ladder. It's quite weird that the, the game is talking about a lot about space, and yet we're stuck underwater. <laughs> quite a weird contrast. That sounds odd. That's a new monster. It has to be. Yeah, it's like... Oh, that's creepy. That looks like a big giant mantis thing. I don't have time to reload, John. That took a fair few shots, didn't it? It's the first horror game I've played in a while where I'm actually trying to take out the enemies, not just running away from them. Where's this led to? Navy Area 3F Barracks. Okay. Oh, he's going to mutate, isn't he? What's he holding? You've obtained a soldier's letter. Okay, let's read this. Soldier's letter. Dearest Kate, I'm sorry, but the honeymoon will have to wait for a while. The cargo Sea Fox brought over is top secret, and it's my duty to guard it. It's so stupid. Who would come all the way down here to the bottom of the ocean to seal something like this? It's always been a new the new guy who gets jobs like this. It's not fair. You know I should have been long gone from this underwater prison by now, but I hope you understand. I'm dying to see you. Bye. P.S. When I get back to the top, let's go to some exotic beach and have tequila sunrises in the sun. Well, that's never gonna happen. You're dead. He's all right. Yeah, he's dead. Shame. Recitation kit. You can't hold anymore. You might as well heal. That's the map burn. I keep doing that for some reason. <laughs> there we go. Oh, what's this? You obtained the gum gun. He's going to mutate, isn't he? I wonder why the gum gun's here for. No, he's still dead. Hmm. Fair enough. I thought he would mutate. Well, I feel sorry for his wife. That's sad. That's a love story that's ended poorly in this game. Actually, they all do, don't they? Come on, like Stella and and then and Danny's wife and daughter. Okay, so we got the gum gun. Let's go down this way. What's down here then? Okay, never ventilation. It's a big air duct. I can barely hear the air flowing. There's there's got to be something to do with air ducts later on because it keeps talking about air ducts. Go down the ladder, sure. Right, we do have the gum gun now, but I'm going to check the other way that we had, that the other ladder that was down here, I think. Because I might have missed something, I don't want to do that. It'd be terrible if I have to backtrack again. Okay, that way is the dead door. The dead door. The door that's like, you know, this is where it's the ladder, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Climb down the ladder. Alright. Don't we hear a monster? It's gonna drop down from the ceiling, perhaps? Oh no, it's a giant door here. It's the engine room. The door is locked. It says no trespassing. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, it's good to check. So we've got the gum gun. We can go back, fill up, and uh, then save outside the big gym room. I think that's going to end up being about, I'd say, about half an hour. So that's great part to end. And then tomorrow I can hopefully use big gym. That would be, that's gonna that's gonna that's exciting. I'm I'm excited to carry on playing tomorrow now. Right. So it's this way, this way. Uh, 
to basically just backtrack all the way back up to the big gym room. Killing monsters that are going to drop from the ceiling along the way. Not that way, this way. Here we go. I might play more of these games on this channel. I might review 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 more of these games. Because I'm going to review this this game. This is why I'm playing it, capturing the footage. But I thought I'd do a playthrough and, as well to finish it off. But I want to kind of review this game. And put that on another channel. Saying, and I might do a lot of horror games actually. These old horror games. Oh. Monster. You know. Because I, I, I like doing reviews. They're nice. They're fun to do. You always reload at the wrong time, don't you, mate? Because I've got no, I've got no issue with this game. This game's been really fun. Is the, is the refrigerator open now? No, it's still locked. Um, I think like there's just a few things I have gripes with it, but it's not terrible. The the, the main gripe I have with it is just the 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 fighting and the ammo. It's just, it's just a bit, and the monsters are a little bit like you know, not as unique. They all just basically stumble or jump at you. So, but. It's not a major problem. It doesn't destroy the game for me or anything. Uh, I think it's not that way. It's this way. No, it's not that way. Actually, let's actually no. Let's just drop into the storage real quick and recharge our guns just in case. But, um, yeah, so I, th but, uh, I, want I have to capture the footage, but I thought I'll just do the playthrough as well. But I think I might play, like, um, I have Enemy Zero that I want to play on the Saturn. Um, that I've never played before. That seems like it'll be really fun to play. I've heard, I've heard conflicting stories about it. Like, some, like, like, opinions on it, not stories, opinions on it. Like, people say Enemy Zero is a really good game, and some people say it's really bad. And so, you know... I'd like to make my own choice about it. I've heard the gameplay is a bit hit or miss. Like, all the enemies are invisible, and you the only way to fight them is by listening to a sound. Uh, I did I did play the... I did play it once, the... the um, just the tutorial part of it. And then I, I thought, I need to sit down and play this properly, not just, at, like, as a whim. So I might do that at one point. Might play that, actually. I want to do Parasite Eve two uh or maybe maybe one as well but i'll have to find a um a, i need to get a u.s playstation for that which i don't have one in this country um go to docking area we have a cutscene. okay Well, that was a riveting cutscene. Let's go and say hi to Danny real quick, if he's still in this room. He might be in this room. Is he? He is! Let's say hi to Danny. Hello! Now hurry! Aren't we near the meltdown? Okay, fine. I just thought I'd say hi. Rude. Why is everyone so rude in this game? Okay. So yeah, I might play Parasite. I, I want to play that game. I think it's called Countdown Vampires on the PlayStation, but it's apparently a bit, a bit expensive to buy, and it's only released in the US. But I would love to play that. That might be one of my birthday presents to me in the middle of the year, actually. Uh, this way, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what other games like these? I like. I like to do the Resident Evil 
and Silent Hill and kind of review those, but everyone does that. That got Carrier on the on the Dreamcast I'd like to do. I've played Overblood, the first one. I might do a review on that sometime. That was really fun. I absolutely loved Overblood. That was great. I got number two. Might have to play that at one point. But I hear that's more of like a RPG than a horror game. So, trying to think of these kind of horror games as if there's a few out there. But yeah, I thought I might I might start reviewing these. Uh, CCD area. Yeah. Um, what else is there? But you know, there's loads of them. I'll have to. Oh, I've got Hell Knight. I wanna, I wanna. I've never played that. I played the first stage of that, and that was that. Still, ah, ha, hey, ha, ha, okay. The, I'm talking to the uh, the microphone here, guy. Rude. No. I'm John, you didn't reload at a bad time. Thank you. Yeah, I've got, well, what was I saying? Uh, Hell Knight, that was a really good game. I played the first part, of, like the first stage, and I was spooked by that. It's a really good, clever game of cat and mouse. So, might play that, actually. I've heard it's really long, though, and quite hard. So, well, we'll see. Like, quite a challenging game. Because it's like one-hit-kill kind of scenario. But we might play that, might play that. Um, but uh, there's loads of games. I've got loads of horror games I need to... I've got Chaos Break. Uh, Martian Gothic. I have that. I've got Echo Knight. Uh, I've got the one on the PS2 too. Uh, Haunting Ground. That's a game I want to play. Uh, Rule of Rose. Um, you, I, I want to play... Um, I, I want to buy it, but I don't. it's really expensive. And uh, But I, I will get around to buying it one time. I'll save up. Is... Um, Michigan report from hell. I would like to buy and play that at one point because that looks like my cup of tea. But it is ridiculously expensive. It's like a hundred quid, two hundred quid. So you know, maybe, maybe one day. I am a horror game fan, so it might have to add to the collection. I feel, always feel bad spending a lot of money on one single game, but, you know, I always like to wait until I can get it cheaper. Uh, oh, there's a guy, there's a, there's a, there's a evil guy here. Oh, wait, 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 we have a tape we can go and, go and view. Let's go and view that tape. Oh, I'm glad I remembered that. So, yeah. Um... I want to play Silent Hill Shattered Memories. I've never played that, but I looked that up on eBay, and that's really expensive. I was dead surprised about that. So, uh, that's another game. Anyways, watch this video. What's it called? Uh, VR1. Uh, the label says Cage. Okay. I hope it's not a film about Nicolas Cage. That would Okay, well, that was an incredibly short film. Okay. I'm glad I made a detour for that. Yeah, I mean, ugh, some of the horror games I want are really expensive, but, you know. Oh, Alone in the Dark. I've got that on the PlayStation 1 and Dreamcast. I would like to play that at one point. So many horror games I, I need to play. So many. Right, uh, floor three. Yes. Went back to the DN area. So, um, it's getting the time and getting around to doing it, really. Getting to doing, you know, getting around to doing it. Currently just completed Croc on the Sega Saturn, and that wasn't great. Uh, not bad, but, but just okay, I guess. I'm playing Pandemonium for the first time. Uh, I want to do a review on that at one point, and, uh, that's, that's really fun. I'm playing the Sega Saturn version, because I'm weird, and I'm, I'm, I'm on a Sega Saturn binge at the moment. It's pretty good. Pretty good little 2.5D platformer. Really enjoying that. Oh, it's a monster here. Oh, he's a bit close. Stay back, fella. Oh, John, you always reload at the wrong blimmin' time. 
All right, he's down. He's deflating. Another one somewhere. There he is. Back. Back with ye. John. Re oh, John. You took a few bullets there. Um. So pandemonium is a good little thing. It, it, it lags a bit on the Saturn, but it's okay. Uh, I've got it on PC as well, so I might play that after I've played the Saturn version. Um, but yeah, a few games I want to, I you know, gotta get get around to playing. So back through here, go and gum that thing up. Yeah, we've been playing for about thirty minutes. I thought it'd be about thirty minutes. I've, I I I've uh, playing for. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. This close! <laughs> what an ambush, man! Oh, John, you terrible at reloading, man! Okay, sorry for that reaction then. I was not expecting that. The, the thing in these games now, you don't get scared of these games now, but they still do surprise you, but not scare you, if you know what I mean. Because you're like, oh, monsters, I didn't, you know. Okay, let's use the gum gun. Here. Item, I know you can press A, uh, not A, um, X. I keep forgetting you can do that. Right, gum gun, let's check the gum gun. Gum gun, a SGR 316 gun that shoots glue-like material that can temporarily fix a crack in a wall. Probably very useful. Uh, oh, game. We're trying to make a horror kind of really tense atmosphere. Why did we have to do the comical noise? Okay, so that's gummed up. Got nothing to say about it. How? I thought the water would have drained, but it hasn't. Maybe now we do the air system? We have to go back up, use the air system, drain it. I remember reading about the air system and it drains water. I mean, I might be completely wrong, but I'm just going to do that real quick. Right. But, uh, yeah, um, what was it saying about horror games? Yeah, I, I, I'm itching to play Parasite Eve 2 again. I haven't played that since like 2010, and that I loved that game. Um, Parasite Eve One is okay, um, but I prefer Two. I know that's kind of most people prefer One over Two, but I like the Resident Evilness to the game more than I like the RPG element in the first one. Although the first one's great, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the first one, but I definitely preferred the second one in my playstyle. And third birthday is just weird. Didn't like that at all. Um, it's okay. It's a good game. It's just not my cup of tea. Felt like Resident Evil 4 but done poorly on a PSP. Um, right. I think we use... Oh, Anna's gone. I think we use the air system. R charge. Exit menu. I think that drains the water from downstairs, if I remember correctly. I might be completely wrong. He already has the data for Big Jim. Anna's gone. Let's go and see, see, see if we can say hi to Anna. She might be in her room. And then... We will then basically once we get once we get the stuff for the big gym ready. I'm gonna save then just before we do the big gym part. 
because that would be a great conclusion of this part and I get to have something exciting for to do tomorrow because this is going to be my last play, like last part in this session that I'm doing. Oh, she's caught. Oh, di oh no. No, it's just, she's shivering. Hurry and seal the flooded part with the gum gun. With the with the AS, you should be able to drain the water out. <gasps> oh no, 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 not her. I liked Rambo girl. Oh, you game. Right, so I've done that. She said she had a cold. You lied to me, game. Oh, I don't want to end on a downer. Hmm, happy new year. Right, so I filled... Trained the warriors, go and get the parts and... Oh, that's just upset me now. It really has upset me. I, I like... <sighs> right, well... <sighs> I'm I'm sad. I liked Rambo girl. She but she's shivering and they all shiver before they splurt into one of those evil monster things, so she's gonna be probably like a boss monster, I'm gonna guess. She might fuse with the dog. Okay, so yeah, this is all drained now. We can get the parts. You've obtained the air tank for the big gym. That's wide open. You got anything else to say in here? Okay. Oh, I really don't want her to change. I want. I just want her to have a cold. She's just she's shivering because she's like got the flu or something. You know. It's not going to be that. My luck isn't that good. I, I, I'm sure this game is basically everyone dies in the end. It's got it's got like kind of that feeling to it. Now, uh, where do I want to go? Up upstairs. Sorry, downstairs. Okay, we're just going to check on Anna. Then we'll go back to the big gym loading room. Because maybe I have to go to speak to Anna with the part. The boss music hasn't started. That's good. She's still here shivering. Hello? All we need to know now is the safety code. It is written on the license card, but sorry, I can't find the license card. Go attach the air tank first. In the meantime, I'll find it. Okay, oh, she's shivering. She's gonna change. She's gonna change. I mean, I really knew Rambo Girl, but she was she is so badass when she introduced herself. Oh, Anna. Oh. Right, go and attach the air tank. Then Anna's gonna change. We're gonna have to kill her. And then we're going to have to pick up the safety card. She'll have the license card on her, on the monster corpse. That's what's going to happen, isn't it, game? That's what we're going... That's what we're going to do, isn't it? That is what we're going to do. I've played enough of these horror games, I think, to feel like that's what's going to happen. I'm going to have to fight her in this room, I think, maybe. Right. Item... Air tank for a big gym, a removable oxygen oxygen tank. With it, you can operate deep underwater. Okay, use. You don't know the passcode to start it up. <sighs> I'm tempted. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to Anna. I'm gonna not end it just yet. I'm gonna do Anna. Speak to Anna first, and then I will end it. I will get that part over and done with, because I want to start with Big Jim in the next part. I've said that's what we're going to do in the next part. I really don't have to, hope I don't have to fight her in that tiny little room, though. That's going to be a bit of an annoying boss room. Uh... 
Uh oh. Come here, Rambo. What's the matter? Why are you so scared? <laughs> Bark so much. I've got you. What's wrong? Uh, John, <laughs> I. My body feels strange. Could you turn on the light? Game. I called it. Called it. Bloody called it. <laughs> oh, game, really? And this is a boss room. We're gonna have this as a boss room. This tiny, tiny little room. Oh, she's really close. Oh, this is just. This is just. What an end to a part. That's the license. Ah, he's... Oh, I can't believe she got me. This is a really awkward place to fight in game. Oh, it's really difficult to use the first aid kit there. Because it takes you have to turn around. It takes it takes time to turn around. Ah, oh, she just keeps picking me on like the leg. Ah, I don't, ah. Ah, this is this is this is just I hate these boss rooms. Ah, see, see, this is really this is just this is just. Oh, I think you got invincibility frames when you take the shotgun out. I'm not sure that might actually be the case. Oh, ox oxygen's out. He's reloading. Yes, you have invincibility frames when you take the shot, take the guns out. Okay, she's dead. I thought that might be a little bit more tougher than it was, but it wasn't that bad. Right, she's gonna have the card. Yeah, thought so. You obtained the big gym license card. Ah, oh. ah. Oh game. Oh, she's just disappeared now. Oh no, she's over here for some reason. And oh, the dog's just appeared there. I'm sorry, Anna. Game, you said she had a cold. What were you doing? You were filling my my heart with false hope and dreams. I'm just, I, I didn't, she wasn't really much of a character, but I'm genuinely quite heartbroken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rambo is just going to stay there. Rambo's going to change, isn't it? Well then, okay. Oh, sad. I'm, s I'm sad. I'm sad. They're just going to kill all the main characters off and turn them into bosses, aren't they? Well, we've got the big gym card. We've got the big gym card. We've got. We've done the. We've done. We've killed Anna. And we can continue the game on in the next. In the next session, in the next video. Let's just do an air system. And save the game. I'm just sad. I'm sorry I went quiet. I'm just I'm just contem contemplating of what just happened there. <sighs> I'm sorry, Anna. I didn't write the game. If it was me who were writing this game, I would let you live, but we they didn't. So 
on that bombshell, that was part 10 of Let's Play Deep Fear Blind. I've been Joel. I am sad. I hope you have a nice day and cheer up. Happy New Year. And uh, bye for now.